Hey guys, I'm Brian with Baku. Welcome back to the Baku YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our flagship bike, which is the Mule. The Mule has been the number one selling hunting bike in the United States for the last four years, and there's a lot to it. Um, so let's let's get started. When you're talking about an electric bike, there's two things that make it an electric bike, and that is the motor and the battery. So let's start there. The Mule is built around the M620 Bafang Ultra Motor. It's a smart motor with an integrated torque sensor and is built of all metal gearing. This is what separates the Mule from most electric hunting bikes in the industry. The Ultra Motor is in a class of its own. It's often referred to as the diesel engine of mid-drive motors. And the reason for that is number one, it creates a tremendous amount of torque. It creates 160 newton meters of torque. When you compare that with like a Bosch or a Shimano or a Yamaha motor that creates right around 60 to 80 newton meters of torque, you can tell real quickly just how much more powerful this M620 Ultra motor is. On top of that, it's a smart motor. It has an integrated torque sensor in it, which tells the motor how much pressure is being applied to the pedals so that it can give a proportionate amount of power back. Essentially, as you're riding, that motor is able to sense just how much pressure you're applying down through the pedals. That's really important, especially if you're riding technical terrain. We build our e-bikes with the very best lithium ion cells that are available. Our cells are Panasonic or Samsung. These cells are built to hold a charge for an extended period of time. On top of that, not only do they hold a charge for an extended period of time, which gives you maximum distance, but we also build our bikes around the largest batteries in the industry. This mule that I'm standing over now has a 25 amp hour lithium ion cell battery. It's a 48 volt system which gives you great torque, but the 25 amp hours is what relates to distance. A guy my size at about 170 pounds, I average right around two miles per amp hour when I'm out in the, in the back country. So those are hunting miles. That's uphill, downhill, flat ground. I'm using the bike for what it's intended to be used for, meaning that when I'm climbing hills, I'm gonna use the throttle. I'm gonna go into a pedal assist or a power assist five, which is gonna give me maximum output when I'm climbing hills. But when I'm on flatter terrain and I'm riding old logging roads, I'm on a level assist one or two. So for a 25 amp hour battery, if I'm getting roughly two miles per amp hour, I average right around 50 miles when I'm in the back country and I'm, and I'm using my mule. One thing to be mindful of is that our batteries do not have a memory. So in other words, they don't have to be deep cycled. You don't have to completely drain your battery before you charge it up. So you can go out for a ride and maybe you're, you'll drop down to 60%. You can bring it right back. You can hook it up to a generator. You can throw it on one of our solar panels or you can plug it into a 110 outlet and you can charge that right back up to 100. It doesn't create any memory and it won't hurt the battery over time. If you're storing your battery, for an extended period of time, we recommend that you store it right around between 60 and 70%. Now these lithium ion batteries, similar to your car battery, will give you about five to seven years of life. So you're gonna get a tremendous amount of use out of them. We know that they're expensive, so if we're gonna spend the kind of money that we do on these electric bikes, then we certainly wanna make sure that we're building it around a motor that is capable and durable and will last you and, and do the things that you want it to do, but also a battery that is gonna last and give you the use that you're, that you're expecting out of it. When you're shopping the mule, you're gonna to wanna to be familiar with, with three different sizes. This is our standard mule. You can see here how the top tube swoops down and it basically meets right where the rear triangle attaches to the seat stay. So this is our regular size mule. We also carry a Mule ST26. The Mule ST26 is exactly like the standard Mule. 26 inch wheels, the same handlebars, the same seat, the same fenders, the same pannier rack. The only difference between the Mule ST26 and the standard Mule is that this top tube actually swoops down a little bit lower and sits about three inches below the rear triangle. Why would you want a Mule ST26 inch over a standard mule? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one is leg length. You wanna have plenty of leg 
length so that you can stand over this top tube without feeling like it's sitting up too high. So for a regular mule, we recommend somebody anywhere from about five foot eight to six foot six. You'll be able to fit this comfortably without any problems. If you're more in the range of five foot eight to maybe five foot five, then you're probably gonna wanna start looking more at the Mule ST26 because that top tube swooping down will give you more room for standover height. On top of that, when we're out in the field, we often have lots of lots of gear on, lots of clothing on. So if you're wearing big coveralls, for example, makes it a little, little more difficult with big coveralls, maybe big boots, of getting your leg over this top tube. So it gives you a little bit more room to have that Mule ST26 and that top tube swooping down. Our third model that we have in the Mule is our Mule ST24. Now this bike comes a little bit smaller frame, a little more compact, and 24 inch wheels. Everything else is exactly the same. The Mule ST24 is designed for somebody in the height range of maybe four foot eight to five foot five, five foot six. Our mules come in a variety of colors and you can find, find those on our website or at any one of our authorized dealers. Let's talk about a few more of the features that set the mule apart from traditional e-bikes or from other hunting bikes in the industry. First off, we use wide handlebars. This gives you a wide base of support. So when you're going uphill or when you're coming downhill, you're in an athletic position where you can get your elbows out, you can bring your back down and really stay in control of the bike. It comes with locking handle grips so that your grips don't twist and move on you. They stay tight and stable in the position that you set them up. We use quad piston hydraulic disc brakes. These disc brakes are just like the brakes that you would find on your four-wheeler. Has a 203 millimeter front rotor and a 180 millimeter rear rotor. This gives you maximum stopping power, which is really important when you're carrying all your gear and you're pulling the trailer behind you, you want to have maximum stopping power. The Mule utilizes Shimano componentry, so it comes with the Alivio 9 speed, which gives you great gearing for climbing, but also great top end speed. We use the 26x4 Maxi's Minion tires. Now we get asked quite often, why would you want to go with a fat tire? Several reasons, but first and foremost is it gives you great stability, gives you great control. When you're on those dirt or gravel roads, if you're riding it through town, you've got great control and great stability on a wide tire. All of our mule models come with an air suspension front fork. This is really important because it allows you to dial in the suspension to fit the type of riding and the weight of the rider that is utilizing the mule. So it really allows you to set that suspension exactly where your comfort level is and the type of terrain that you're riding. Our mule comes with a color LCD display. You can find more information and greater detail in our display video linked here below. Also, the mule comes with a thumb throttle on the left-hand side. People often ask us, why is the throttle on the left side? Because traditionally in the US, when we're riding a four-wheeler, the throttle's on, traditionally on the right side. Well, the reason that it's on the left side is because traditionally for shifting um, on a mountain bike, the, all of the shifting is done on the right side. So we have our shifting on our right, and then we have the thumb throttle on the left. The last few details that I want to point out on our mule is that we use a wide stance pedal. This pedal has big cleats on it so it'll grab your boot, grab your shoe to keep you in complete control of your bike while having big holes and a wide stance that allows dirt, mud, debris to fall through that doesn't accumulate on your boots or on your pedals. Secondly, we're the only company that uses a front mount and a side mount rear derailleur protector. You can see that here on the lower triangle of the bike, this little fin here in the front, we often refer to it as a shark fin. Well, that shark fin protects that rear derailleur from taking a blow from anything that you might ride, ride over from, from the front. So instead of coming back and smacking your rear derailleur and then impacting your ability to shift, that little shark fin allows uh, debris to glance off of that and hopefully missing your rear derailleur. Likewise, we have the side derailleur protector and that protects you just in case of a fall or if you were to lay your bike on the right side of the bike, it doesn't put pressure on that derailleur and cause uh, that derailleur hanger to bend. We use a high tensile steel chain that is built for the power and the torque that is created by the ultra motor and 
demanded by those that are using our mule in off-road conditions. All of that allows you to get to where you want to be and make sure that you get you and all of your gear back out. If you're looking to purchase a mule, you can do that on our website. Likewise, while you're on the website, you can search for a dealer that's nearby you and purchase from any one of our authorized dealers. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to learn more about other Baku products, you can click on links here on the right side. If you would like to subscribe and get updates on future videos, please click on our link here on the left. Have a great day.